Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benanin. Today we'll be reviewing the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen. This is their Relief Sun Rice and Probiotic SPF 50 plus PA of 4 plus. The way y'all hyped up this sunscreen, every time I'd recommend a Asian sunscreen to someone, somebody in the comments would be like, have you tried the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen yet? Have you tried the Beauty of I've tried it now, here it is. So first of all, let's talk about the price. You get 50 milliliters in this tube, which is 1.69 fluid ounces. At the time, I think I picked it up for like 11, 10 to 11 dollars from Salvana. You can also grab it on Amazon and on the Beauty of Joseon website. On their official website, it is retailing for 18 dollars. So the active ingredients in here are Uvenol A+, Uvenol T150, Tinasorb M, and Uvasorb HEB. Keep in mind though that Tinasorb M is that like tricky filter that's kind of a chemical sunscreen but kind of a mineral in a way it's sort of like a hybrid so there is a potential to experience a bit of a white cast some other fun ingredients in here it has niacinamide adenosine 30 percent rice extract which is rich in vitamin b c e amino acids and minerals it also contains probiotics and ginseng they do claim that this one is fragrance and essential oil free it doesn't really smell like anything let me show you guys what it looks like i've already put a little bit but i'll put a little bit more but it's a pretty lightweight kind of water-based cream it the slip is kind of insane it just kind of slips around um and it blends in pretty quickly as well as you guys will see it just feels like a really light moisturizer i'd say that this is a natural to glowy finish as you guys can see this is the hand that doesn't have anything on and my hand is like crusty and dry and then this is with the beauty of joe sun so you guys will see there's a little bit of that natural sheen on there day one i wore it on bare skin and like i said i just washed my face let it dry and then i went in with the sunscreen right away i noticed that this is so lightweight it really just feels like a very lightweight cream it spreads out really easily there's not too much tugging or pulling to get it to blend in see i went from looking very dry to looking very hydrated so although earlier i said this was a natural to glow finish i'd say initially it is definitely a glowy finish not natural glowy but once it dries down it becomes more of the natural to glow finish so so in my bathroom lighting i didn't experience any issues with it having a white cast or blue hue from that Tinasorp M but when I moved to my window lighting that's where you could kind of see that there's a slight blue sheen it's very slight though and I I feel like I could wear this out and feel comfortable and not have an issue with it one thing I did notice though is that it was collecting in some of my creases so around my neck area where I have a you know a crease on my neck um, it was kind of collecting there I was able to rub it in and that was fine but then I also saw it creasing in in my eyelids in the folds and that one I wiped it off um, to get it off but then it started to collect again later in the day so that's very annoying nobody wants to see like white spots in all of their creases and folds and wrinkles on their face so this is what it looks like two hours later and I think it held up two hours I feel like it actually dried down more the longer I wore it and I personally prefer that it, the way that it looked two hours later versus how it looked after like 15 minutes um, as you'll see I'm a little bit shiny in my t-zones but I have oily skin so that's normal for me but if you're looking at the rest of my face it just it went to like a pretty natural finish and it felt pretty comfortable on I went ahead and blotted and reapplied and reapplication was pretty quick and easy it spread easily I will say though that by the second and third application it did start to feel a little bit greasy on my skin so this is one that I feel like I can handle with the first application but with reapplication over and over it might start to not feel as comfortable um, also I'd say that with the reapplication you start to see a little bit more of that blue hue as you guys can see in the footage um, but it wasn't anything extreme so the next day i wore it with my normal skincare and for me that is a acne serum and a lightweight moisturizer and then i applied the sunscreen as my final layer i think it actually rubbed in better than it did on bare skin blended in and absorbed faster for some reason i really didn't see any blue hue or any cast the finish was looking a little bit more glowy obviously because i have a moisturizer under 
but this was manageable for me especially going into the drier months I like more moisture again I was seeing some of the buildup in in my eyes and my creases and stuff but it wasn't as bad as day one so I wore it for two hours and came back and as you can see I'm looking a little bit shiny in my t-zones and in my forehead my forehead was felt pretty greasy by this point but if you look at my again my cheeks my jaw my chin all of that that looks like a natural finish so I went ahead and blotted and reapplied and reapplication was pretty quick and easy as well with a moisturizer when I blotted and reapplied the hue wasn't as visible as it was on bare skin so that was nice um, I think if I were to choose I probably prefer to wear this on its own actually because I think it's moisturizing and hydrating enough on its own I really don't think you need an extra moisturizer and for my oily skin when I added the extra moisturizer it started to feel a little bit more heavy and greasy so definitely if you have oily skin you can probably skip the moisturizer if you have more dry skin and it does layer with other products if you need that option the last day I wore it with makeup and everything worked fine with makeup I was able to put my products on fine I didn't end up experiencing any of that build up in my creases and that's probably because I was able to go in and set with the powder so that the product wasn't building up there or it was drying a little bit better with the powder so no issues there with makeup all right now I'm gonna talk about who I would recommend this for and my overall thoughts on this sunscreen overall I think this is a pretty decent sunscreen for it being a Korean sunscreen used on someone with oily skin is it one of my favorites not necessarily but it is a good option so the reason I say that is because I did like how it wore on bare skin but I think when I switched to wearing it with a moisturizer it felt like a little bit too much I have oily skin I do like hydration I do like moisture but I want it in a way that doesn't feel too heavy and it works fine with the first application but if you're someone that actually reapplies their sunscreen this kind of becomes too much by the end of the day you, your skin will start to feel oily but I'd say if you are using this as your base sunscreen um, this would be a good option so you get that base moisture and hydration and then maybe go in with a different sunscreen that's even more light um, a little less emollient uh, maybe more mattifying then this would be a good option for that but I just feel like by the time I got to my third application even my second application it was just a little bit much for me that being said if you have more balanced skin or dry skin I feel like you will really like this for people with sensitive skin this one doesn't have a fragrance so I didn't have any of those nasal sensitivities as far as fragrances um, and just overall it didn't irritate my skin so I think you should be good for sensitive skin unless you're sensitive to niacinamide because remember that's in there then skip that one but otherwise it should be good for sensitive skin as far as acne prone skin I also have acne prone skin I didn't have any extra breakouts from this if you have more fair skin you should be fine no white casts or anything but if you are deeper than me I would caution you as well with this you might experience a little bit of a blue hue in there um, but for my skin and my complexion I didn't experience too much of a hue I saw a little bit of it when I wore it on bare skin depending on the lighting but it was bearable and I, I would wear this out confidently and feel fine with it so just keep that in mind and then lastly if you're a makeup wearer you should be fine this sets fine underneath makeup um, I did have the issue of it collecting in my um, eye folds but you just kind of you rub it in and you go or I recommend what I did was just putting a little bit of setting powder there and it was fine I was able to wear it the rest of the day without it collecting there as well so those are my overall thoughts on the Beauty of Joe Sun sunscreen if you guys have tried the sunscreen which I know a lot of you have comment down below share your thoughts with the rest of us if you loved it let us know if you hated it also let us know we all like different things and don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations down in the comment section below as well and I'll be seeing you guys all in the next one bye